Hello theatre fans and welcome back to my channel. So today is Sunday the 28th of October. I am currently in London. I am in my hotel room already as I am here for the weekend having seen two shows yesterday. I went to see 42nd Street at the Drury Lane Theatre and then last night I went to see Company at the Gielgud Theatre. So today I'm just killing some time this morning before heading over to the Cockpit Theatre to go and see Dean John Wilson in Scott Allen's The Distance You Have Come. Um, don't know anything really about this show at all. I'm um, a huge fan of Scott Allen um, as well as Dean John Wilson. Um, love the music so I'm very much looking forward to seeing what the show is about. Um, so I've got a few hours to kill before this. I'm just going to head into London for a bit uh, before heading over to the theatre later on this uh, afternoon and then I'm going to catch the train home later this evening. Um, quite tired today. It was a bit of a late one last night. Um, if you look at my other videos you'll see why uh, it's a bit of a late one, I haven't seen uh, Patty Lapone and company. Um, so, and also the clocks went back last night, so technically about an extra hour in bed, but it hasn't made much difference because I was absolutely freezing. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm gonna go kill some hours in town and then I will uh, feed back my thoughts on this new show, which I've never seen before later on. <laughs> Okay, and welcome back to the review part of my vlog. And as you've just seen, I saw The Distance You Have Come, a Scott Allen song cycle at the Cockpit Theatre. Now, Scott Allen is a, um, a musical composer from America, and he has worked with many, many um, theatrical um, actors and actresses on Broadway and has created many albums um, over the years of original songs as sung by these famous um, actors and actresses and I heard of Scott Allen um, about three or four years ago um, through um, a drama company I was with and subsequently I've done a little bit of research and downloaded a lot more of his songs and he has a distinctive style of music as well, um, very much like Jason Robert Brown um, sort of style or genre of music and um, you could say a little bit depressing sort of songs but they're sort of very true to the heart, very sort of um, relatable songs um, of real life and situations that he himself, the composer as well as you and I, were to go through in everyday life as well. So. He, when he announced earlier this year that he was bringing a song cycle um, show to London and I thought I have to go and see um, this show. Now I didn't know anything about this show at all um, apart from the fact that it was a um, uh, an, an amalgamation of all the different types of songs that he's done over the years put together into some form of storyline and um, what the storyline was I didn't know at the time so I decided to book an early bird ticket um, in a theatre I've never been to either so as time went on the casting was announced and I was absolutely thrilled that Dean John Wilson was cast in the show now Dean John Wilson and uh, Scott Allen are good friends and um, has sung many many of his songs 
um, over the years. And if you go to Scott Allen's webpage on YouTube, um, you will see um, Dean John Wilson singing many of his songs as well. And as everybody knows, I'm a huge Dean John Wilson fan, so I was actually thrilled to hear that he was going to be performing in this show. Also appearing in this show was Emma Hatton, who I've heard of, and she recently played um, Ava Peron in Avita, so I was aware of her talent and ability. Now, it is a small cast of six actors, two of them I already know, but the others are Anthony Coxon, who played Brian, and Adrian Hansen as Samuel. Both have got a wealth of um, talent behind them. Sadly, um, I don't know either of these. I'm not seeing anything that they've been in before, but my goodness, they have strong singers and actors as well. You've also got, like I said, just Emma Hatton and Jodie Jacobs. I thought Jodie Jacobs was absolutely hilarious. And again, I'm not seeing what she's done, but she has got a wealth of experience behind her and um, I'd like to see what else she does in the future, but she's certainly had her since stitches in this show. And then finally then you've got Dean John Wilson and Alexia Kadim um, in the respective roles. And um, she had a very uh, good, powerful voice as well. In fact, they all did. They all had, uh, they're all individually unique um, characters that they played, very convincing, and, um, and they did a really, really good job of uh, portraying their characters uh, to push the story along. So as I've said, the it is a story cycle of a mixture of Scott Allen's songs and every character sort of intertwines and interrelates to each other. They're all individual stories, but they sort of intertwine with each other. For example, Dean John Wilson's character is a down and out um, alcoholic. Um, he hits rock bottom and um, subsequently he then has to sort of turn his life around for the better which he does in act two um there's a lovely sort of end of act one uh, going into act two scene where dean john wilson is fighting his, his character rather is fighting his inner demons and walks towards the light and then the end of act one ends and then act two carries on from that where he comes out of the light um to be greeted by his all his friends um and who accept him that he's helped him turn his life around and for the better now the story itself um, as i've just said are different stories like i said Dean wells is an alcoholic you've got um his sort of ex-girlfriend um, emma hatton who has um, moved on uh, with her life, has got a new fella, yet still has some sort of feelings um, towards um, DJ Wilson's character. Now, Emma Hatton's character also is um, auditioning for um, Broadway and um, subsequent, I guess, rejected a lot throughout the whole show. And at the end of Act Two, she does get her big break. Um, then Jodie Jacobs' character is a bisexual who is in a relationship well with Alexia Kadim. Um, they sort of split up because um, Jodie Jacobs um, doesn't think it's going to go anywhere. And then she um, sort of fancies um, Jean Charles' character um, throughout the whole show, even though she is sort of mainly a lesbian, but she has got bisexual tendencies. Um, she then subsequently surrogates a baby for um, these two characters, Andy uh, Coxon and Adrian Hansel. Um, these two gay characters, they meet at the start of Act One, um, form a relationship, they want a baby, and subsequently ask Jodie Jacobs to have the baby for her. Um, so yeah, you can see the stories all intertwine um, throughout the stories, all the different songs link in nicely to, to what is happening in this story. Um, it's a very simple story of everyday people um, going about their daily basis and how they um, have some stories intertwined with each other. Um, and yeah, there was a lot of comedy moments in there, there was very, very dark moments in there. Um, you had a whole you, you, a lot of emotions and feelings throughout and you did feel them as well um, and the orchestration was incredible, it was a very 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 small band um, and they all did a fantastic job in bringing this music alive. So I know I'm maybe a bit biased here but Dean John Wilson has a song at the start of Act 2 which was absolutely insane because he sang it a cappella and he sings um, Grateful which is not a song I know by um, Scott Allen, um, but um, yeah, he sang a cappella. I tell you what, you could hear a pin drop in that place. It, what you, you, you couldn't, you didn't breathe to be honest. It was incredible. Um, the songs themselves are quite difficult to sing as well, um, but 
I thought everybody had their time to sing their solos as well as group numbers and they all had the time to shine and they were just fantastic. Um, it wasn't a very, very long sh um, show at all. I think it was about maybe an hour or 45 minutes, 50 minutes for each act um, with a 20 minute interval as well in between. Um, very, very, very simple staging. We were in a round and like I said, I'd never been to the cockpit before. Um, I had to get my little sat nav on my phone to, uh, to find this place and sort of um, back of, not necessarily back and beyond, in the centre, it's very central London near Paddington, but um, it's down some streets that you'd have to follow. So this, the cockpit reminds me very much of the Southwark Playhouse. Um, there's no um, numbered seating or allocated seating rather. Um, it is around the stage and something in the middle and you sit around the outside. Um, I didn't want to sit at the very, very front. Um, there was like four or five raised um, uh, seat rows rather um, and I sat about third row from there so I was at the height of the actors um, like I said the actors didn't took place in the centre you walked in and there was um, a large tree or uh, sort of overhanging the stage with sort of like Christmassy little sort of light throughout and there was a swing that would hang down from this tree and then there would be a bench um, and that would be it, the whole stage. And the floor itself then was um, circular with um, an imprint of a leaf on it as well. It, it was very effective. The lighting was very, very effective as well. Um, very, like I said, very dark moments and very, very light moments as well. And that was re represented in the music and the lights as well. Um, but yeah, very, very effective and, and, and thoroughly enjoyed the production. So in the audience as well was Scott Allen. He's actually been there all week as well. And I did actually have the chance to meet him. And wow, what a, what a great guy. He's very, very full of energy. Uh, he's very, very passionate about his music and the show. He was cheering and whooping at any opportunity, like the rest of us were. Um, but he knew a lot of people in the audience as well. So he's pl he really wanted to show off this, uh, this, this show that he'd created. And, right, and he deserved it rightly so, because it was a great show. And um, it was nice to see him and meet him in person as well. Uh, after hearing a lot about him and his music as well, I can actually finally meet the guy as well. And yes, of course, at the end of the show, I did hang around to meet Dean again, just to say how insanely talented I think he is, um, which he is. He's, if you ever get the opportunity to see Dean John Wilson perform, please do, because he is an incredible actor and, and, and singer. He's just, everything he does is just brilliant. And I'll, ever be, and I'll forever be a fan of his as well. Um, so yeah, that's um, roughly a review of The Distance You Have Come which when you think about it, the title of the show, which is also the closing song of the whole show, is the distance that these characters have come from beginning to end. They've all been on a journey and come out the other side as well. And it, it resolves with a very, very happy ending for all of them at the end as well. So it's very, very nice to go on that roller coaster with them throughout. And it's very, very clever how they've interpreted um, Scott Allen's songs um, into a storyline and make it work effectively as well. So yeah, so I'm actually really pleased I got to see this uh, show on its very, very short run um, over the past few weeks. Um, I saw it on the last day of production. Um, it was um, a matinee uh, performance on a Sunday. I happened to be in London on the, uh, on the Saturday seeing two shows, which you would see in um, another vlog of mine. I went to see 42nd Street and Company. The link should be down below in the comment, in the in, in the information section. Um, so this actually tied in quite nicely, a nice end to my uh, weekend away in London to see uh, the show on its last uh, performance of its short run in London. Uh, be interesting to see if Scott Allen does any more future productions of either this show or other shows in the future. I shall certainly keep an eye out. But did you manage to see the show? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Um, so please leave your comments down below. Are you a big fan of Scott Allen? Have you heard of him? Or do you want John Wilson or anybody else of the cast? Um, I'd like to hear that, so please do that. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And also, if you'd like to see more videos uh, of mine, then please hit that subscribe button. I regularly post uh, videos um, as and when I see shows and I regularly visit London and certainly South Wales to see many productions so I'll be got plenty more videos coming up very very soon as well so anyway I want to take the opportunity to say thank you very much once again for watching my show and until next time happy theatre